This is a typical pediatric self-inflating bag valve mask. This is the pop-off valve. The pop-off valve was designed as a safety feature so that excessive pressure cannot be generated by inexperienced providers causing barotrauma. Note the opening and closing of this valve. The bag comes from the manufacturer in the open position, which allows escape of gas to prevent excessive pressure buildup. We are attaching a manometer to the bag so that we can demonstrate its function. Note that in the open position, a pressure higher than 40 centimeters of water pressure cannot be generated. Note that in the closed position, pressures well in excess of 40 centimeters water pressure can be generated. There are certain situations in which pressures greater than 40 centimeters may be required. Examples include partial airway obstruction, conditions of increased airway resistance such as asthma, or conditions of decreased lung compliance such as pulmonary edema. Since the bag comes from the manufacturer in the open position, it must be closed prior to use in order to be able to ventilate these patients. Therefore, prior to using a bag, we must always test it to verify the pop-off valve is in the closed position, just as we always test the laryngoscope to make sure the light source is working. We call the procedure of checking the bag the leak test. To perform the leak test, we grasp the bag and cover the gas exit port and squeeze it. Note in the first example with the pop-off valve open, the bag collapses when squeezed. Note when the valve is closed, it does not collapse when squeezed, remaining tight. From a practical point, when the bag collapses upon squeezing, it is usually an open pop-off valve that is the cause. However, it could be caused by a leak elsewhere and it should be investigated. In summary, we should always perform a leak test prior to using a bag valve mask and the bag should always be tight prior to using it. You must become familiar with the pop-off valve on the bags you have in your department because as you can see from these examples there are many different types of pop-off valves.